Welcome to Turning Point with Doreen. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Sophie? Where does uh, Sophie come from? What sort of family raised you, molded you to be the person that you are? Hmm. Sophie, what's that way as in person? Okay. So well, what I'm trying to say is I come from a very prayerful family. Okay. And I think that's where my foundation came from. So yeah, a child that was born go bara, Levita Chris Hani these days. <laughs> um so Kimana go bara and and you know, I just grew up collocationing. Went when my parents were very ill and they couldn't really afford much. My mother's father was Zimbabwean, so she had family who was Zimbabwe, and you know Cambridge education was very yes. top class, right? So she thought, "Manaka hatlo was hustlekishin, kimisakwa, no matter what the hassle, right?" So that's how I ended up in an orphanage. I lived with my sister for a while. Went to an orphanage, which I thought was boarding school, of course. Learned more about God and about mm. prayer. I'm just giving you the foundation of why people say, yes. oh, she's always talking about prayer. This thing is not a sudden mm. vision. It's always been there. It's part of the foundation of my life okay. or my being. You know, ning, ning, oh, hola, you forget about it. You slip a bit. You're a child. You know, you're a young woman. You're allowed to just go in and out. And as you grow older and more seasoned, you begin to understand the power that it really has. Yeah, Prayer. So your foundation is prayer. Absolutely. So so you found yourself in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Uh, from what grade? I can imagine. Maybe um, edu- 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 standard. I'm sure. <laughs> I'll just say standard two or standard yeah. three or something. I was like nine, ten years old. I was very until? young. Until? Until O-level level. Which is what? Metric? Which is metric and beyond. O-level, A-level, which is beyond metric. Yeah. And then when did you come to South Africa? When I was a pregnant teenager. <laughs> so there's a lot so mm. I I then became a pregnant teenager of which then it was like yo yeah, mm. you know how it was I mean culture Back goes in Zimbabwe days. first of all does not allow you to have a boyfriend and and mm. and I think that's that's also another topic for parents to discuss to say when you have you know sex education with your children at a younger age. When I say a younger age, I'm talking about high school level. Yeah. It's very key. And I think if those conversations were had, you don't experiment with something you don't even understand. You Once you start experimenting with something you understand, mm. you deal with it differently. We're not sure. saying you'll be a success story in avoiding it. Yeah. But we're saying at least, you know, you know, you don't the only hear it from te- Yeah, you don't only hear it from nurses who are saying, why do you want family planning? Get out. <laughs> yeah. You know, so for us, it was get out. Family planning, mm. yang. It's a wanka family. You plan a family thing. You know? Yoko guy. Yoko guy, lima ang. Kima ang plan a family lumana, you know? So you never, at, you never went to the clinic yet today. You know, our health department promotes going to the clinic, talking to nurses. It doesn't matter your age. Mm. If you want to know something, they're, they're ready to tell you. Okay. You mentioned something about um, being a, a teenage mother. Yes. Or you came back when you yes. were pregnant yes. as a teenager. Yes. Um, most young women, when they find themselves in that situation, it's it's really a success story, like you mentioned, yeah. that they're able to turn their lives around, especially yeah. in this time and age. Yeah. But from your side, how did you manage to, you know what, yes, this it might have been a mistake, it might have not been a mistake, but you find yourself in that predicament. How did you manage to navigate and remove yourself from? Not necessarily rem- remove, but uh, find a way forward from that situation. You know, the wonderful thing is that this family that I lived with, I ended up falling in love with their son. And this was after the orphanage. It was a foster family that took me in. Nile episu ita kude bold. Mutana, nage shapa bold. Kuru ge kaja khale this bold in the beautiful haka. Ay kala no. Kuru non zaba shapa di shon shot. Khale gidi khan. Please, you know nothing. You think you've got it all. Please, I'm just revealing now. Hans eki eki. Kiba confidence eki eki. Kiba kotele. Tseba nana neba di tseba. Kiba blele straight. Kuru baska seba. Tseba re yo. From the horse's mouth. From the horse's mouth. So, you know, um, this was a family that was extremely wealthy. And, you know, I always say to people, you must always find the good and the bad. And for me, yes, I was a pregnant teenager. But before that, 
they taught me a lot of things. Okay. They taught me business. You know, people always say, where, where do you get these ideas from? How do you come about to one, to do one, to three? And mm -hmm. for me, it's, it's the foundation. That's why I always say to parents, teach your children the right foundation so that when you are not there, they are able to maneuver around whatever situation or storm mm -hmm. can come to them. So for me, yes, I had a storm, the embarrassment of going home as a pregnant teenager, but I went equipped, right? I was ready to rock the world, but I still had this tummy and I still was mm -hmm. a pregnant teenager and people were still whispering, or you? And you have to deal with all of that psychologically as a young girl in order for you to regain your confidence, right? So for me, I knew I, had the, I, had the, I was equipped from working in this family's shops. They had okay. a butchery, they had a supermarket, they had a bottle store, they had, they had, they had, they had, mm. they, had, they, had they had a flower shop, that's where the wedding planning, that's nice. where the chefing came from. You see, so you need to pay attention to your storm. You need to pay attention to where you think bang abuser. But to me, nang sebenze during holidays. But to me, now while other kids are playing, I must be working in the shop. Mm. But to me, now I must be washing floors. You see yourself as a Cinderella. <laughs> mm. You don't know that God is literally preparing you to where He's taking you, to the business, to the world of other people need to go to varsity, and God already knows good. Your parents are not gonna afford varsity. Sing you nigili varsity. Uksebenze la so go university akomaj practicals that kids yearn for after doing mm. their university degrees. I had practicals without the university degree. Oh. So by the time I came here, here mm. I am, pregnant teenager, ukoko holy pension one fifty. My mother is on sick pension as opposed to old pension. I think mm. some one of the two earned one seventy five, and the other one went one fifty. My dad gay and uh, I don't know what was happening with him. He was just sick. <laughs> so I paid attention to these two's money. La mama 150, mama 175. And I went to my grandmother. Karan shape ka 150 mo. It's a guy. It's a guy. wa 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 the trolley. Otlang every Saturday. A ring a bell and then ring a di tapulele. Diwa demo kopule inka skolota. For you and your baby. And I'm like, oh, okay. Askisi. Then comes my mother and I said, can you trust me? with your 175 pension. And I said to my mom, I'm not a stupid child. I may have made a mistake. I've prayed about it. I've asked you mm. for forgiveness. You've forgiven me. Can you trust me with your 175? I'm going to multiply it. You saw? So I came here and I thought, hmm, get sort of 175. I was talking about my age group now. And I was like, hmm. I'm going for them. But I had a baby face, oh. you know. So when I was 17, I looked probably 14 or 15. I don't know. I just looked younger than even with makeup, mm. right? So I go for the auditions. They say, you're very eloquent. So now the purpose of television, you didn't need a degree to enter. Sure, you yes. didn't need a CV to enter. You rock it. You go in front of the camera and you say, hi, my name is Sophie Ndaba and I'm here. And we are rocking it. And they're like, wow, right? And you're on camera, you're rocking mm. it. You're not saying, can you stop? Can you start again? Not like Sasha, people stop, let's yeah. start again. Like, shop no flow. Like a flow Freestyle. Freestyle, right? And then Mnet said, I said, this guy, this girl, she's too young, but she's eloquent, but she's too young. Let her ripen up a bit. Girl. Okay, what other easy avenue is there? And I thought, modeling, wow. And I thought, I mean, I have a degree. Mm -hmm. I have a certificate. I'm going modeling. And I went to an agency called G3 Models. I was not tall. I was medium height. And I said, darling, there's photographic and there's what? I'm thinking Naomi Campbell level. That's where I want to be. And mm. they laughed. They thought, Naomi Campbell, but no one's trying. Don't you know where you are? <laughs> How did you look around you? And I'm saying, I'm mm. benchmarking. You know? Gitagatile, a top model. I get targeted but I'm leveling up. And now I want to deal with business. I target somebody who's 10 times or 5 times better than me in order for me to reach my target. You, you aim your arrows high. I aim my arrows high. And I'm like, Funuma next to her. Mm. Even if I carry her bag, I'm standing yeah. next to her. So, mm. this is the girl. But, but she's double your height. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. Blood falls <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I went. I was a model for G3. Made a lot of money. I mean, go higher. Make you book a ticket. Secure the city to say five. Eight that's already plastic. Say five. It's a go supermarketing. Eight that's hard. And I made kill one man show my texting. I can actually look away. But I'm earning 500 bucks an hour as a model. Wow. So I was making money. 
and I was like, family like I will never starve under my watch. Harissa pusha, trolley. I can get a multiplication. Yes. I'm proving to my mother now what 175 can do. So my mother was a happy chick. Like, nice. by the time I buried my mother, she was a happy one because she got everything she wanted. And because she trusted me, yeah. got 175. So my question always to women is, how far do you trust your child even after making the mistake? Hmm. How do you allow them to restore themselves under your watch? Because as a parent, when you're disappointed with a child who's a pregnant teenager and they come back and they say, Mama, can you trust me? You're like, trust where now? Already, you're already telling the child what they are not. And they are trying to, like you say, Mm. you're trying to bounce back as a child and you're trying to reactivate yourself. So my mother was a proud mom. My grandmother was prouder, you know, and and, and it was just a a great ambience to see myself buying mewaka sofa ya pili in play, you know, music system, kasandia, kitina ke free fast tupu. I am there for it, right? Nice. How how yeah. kitli they be like you will add minyako li defense terror you must hear the sound and the eloquence of this technique music goomba, system. Yes. So fast forward to you have finally figured it out. I don't think anyone has figured it out anything in your life. But you have finally uh, moved past that situation. Yeah. Um you now a model You've booked several jobs. You're able to buy food. Police are there, see. Yeah, and things are I must looking, eat. Yes. <laughs> and I'm assuming your maybe your baby's like three. Mm. And, and then she's calling my mother, mom. And Mina, I'm so she. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zimbabwe, are they in touch? Of course. With that situation. At that time, mm. Zimbabwe is doubtful. Zimbabwe is like ah, oena. Uh, I think it's heavy like high. So the perception go on. Now, but when you like everyone pay mention, got tennis court, Lily Ingle Ingle. I get about wealthy. Yeah. And I'm like, but my God promised me better. And I, the first question I asked, because I was a very smart child, God, is this house gonna be in my name? Got told I got to do. God, even my parents are not here. Why are we negotiating a house and basically back up by your mom? Let that little family have. Hmm. If I get, can I just go to home? For Christmas and then give up little little about and then I'll come back. Cut na ko ke prage. Ba ba mpilete meeting ke wana ke reba tulona. You won. Imagine. Gotta know. Eh limpa ing. Hey, got some extra tour. Tennis court, the pad pad course. Darling, that house. I'd probably still have it, <laughs> but <laughs> I was like, I'm not here for this. I'm here for the promise of God. Mudimo we said na. If you mm. stick me with all your heart, you'll find me and I get the whole So, I got a test at this dude. Yeah. I get it. Okay, oh, yes. I'm a test. 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 I'm a so here I was waiting for the process. Bye bye. Get like a boy. Catch a new area. I can sit here. But I get that little mewak. But some mewak is poor. Or it's really got to go home. So mewak got the warning. That train. Next train. Got some money. Got a lift just by uncle. Went to Jules. Got home, and that's that process of home. So Zimbabwe left it behind then, and I never went back. To this day. No, no, no. Of course, oh. I've been back. But I'm saying at that season okay. of being a teenager to adulthood, young adulthood. And um, it just so happened, Hore, you know, I gave birth to this beautiful girl. And my mother allowed me to be a young girl again. I'm a as a model, honey. How arrival, how arrival. All sorts of hair, all sorts of makeup, all sorts of everything. Go conning, go around a gulu, how fit a fellow up in hot penny. But oh, my gosh, like you. But that's the whole I'm now preparing to be on television. My gosh, I'm I can't even pizza my gosh. You don't know what I'm planning. You can't say it all if it comes. Ning ningi pink, ning ningi blue. <laughs> so I suppose if you're not in my modeling world, you'll be confused about what, why I'm wearing all these wigs. Because I get I'm not announcing hey. I'm a model. I'm not announcing. And when I never called Kishni, but it's ever like I make a zinia Vogue. They don't. They don't. So I didn't expect them to know what this is what I'm busy with. Then I thought, oh, bam pizza ma, ma khosh. Uh huh. All right. Kita wanza ma khosh akema kiaki kena television inche. I worked for a company called uh, Television Promotions. Uh, oh, okay. We'll teach you. And um, they taught me television. They taught me um, um, castings. 
and I ended up working for another casting agency, Kotoran Studios, and I started doing castings, and that's when the audition, I get and I was well-spoken, so I said, mm. why not like a reception in place, oh, Monto, do you nice? I get I was a model, so I was like, yes. Mm. You know, and I, became a mo- and I became a model full-time, but also on the side, I was a receptionist, receiving all the faxes for the casting. You know, and I, and I thought, people, that's why I keep lala about you need to position yourself for greatness. You don't say, I don't have, therefore, I can have a tricky, I can have a degree, I can have a but on but on tzaka anyway, even if you've got a degree. So don't focus on people who are laughing at you. So for me, I was like, I'm here for it. I'm getting all the castings. Then came casting generations. Then came, actually, they came, can I have a tzang eliyabo mam lilian dube ya yadi betle le khwakena eo. So city. Kakra Patinyana, Hakena Zulu on my stupu, Kakra Patinyana as a model for Miss World, Relicent City. Mm-hmm. You know, the casting, the Kenakon Nadol, the yes. selector. You know, Ning Ning, let me help you audition people. It's already camera, Monsegar, cut. <laughs> you know, I'm learning. Yeah. And the Babamba University, now I'm doing it live, you know. You're getting the, the real experience. Exactly. Yeah. That's when I went in. And then came Generations, auditions. I was like, yes, Marika Sisepa, Soapy, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, that's where really my television career started. And then, uh, yeah, about the birth of Queen Morocco. You don't want to know that story. The birth of Queen Morocco was mm. super amazing. I mean, first of all, the person who was auditioning as Cobra Fontaine, Nelly Libur. Let's start there. It was in Baba Gizeli suit. That's number two. Because I'm saying it's very Sichuan. That's a good one. Libur Lampoza, do you speak suit to Enzana Carriers? My name is Sophie. It was Soweto. Why would I not speak suit to? I said, I'll fake it till I make it. When I'm inside, I'll learn how to speak this suit to Enzana. Sure, yeah. yeah. Bang auditioner, auditioner, are you look beautiful? Can I go to you? Thank you, Masilo. Oh, my God, Hore. Oh, my God. Let's go. Kiena, kiena, hena. Oh, my Campbell, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And the babat na a. What are the drama that Khalid? They didn't want this fake, fake to na there now. They wanted a. He read the dictionary and she spoke it. Nee, so we didn't know that yellow bone, but she looked international. You understand? Natural long hair on her weaver. But I never get bad. I used to dress up, show up, and look fabulous. So I was very, very confident in myself. The only confidence is that I get to the car. I'll fake it until I make it one foot in the door. I'm inside. Mfundi Vundla at the audition. Callback. Are you the one everybody's talking about? Karuai, hey, your energy. And now we're speaking English, not Sutu. Mm. And he's like Kosa. So, you know, Dad, Kimita dead already. You know, Dad, I don't speak Kosa, but. I kind of understand it, you know, because I know Queen's role is Tswana, but they want 80% English, so I'm like, no. Okay. This is another role I can go for if they give this girl with this role, Okonyo. They gave Konya the role, and then they said, oh, no, Queen is going to have one or two episodes, Kara, two episodes. And then it's the end. Mfundar, yes. Kara, the end, 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 end. Ah, yes, Kara, I want to be inside. I'm pizza, I shoot the first day. Before first day, I said, about the office here, okay? Found it. Knocked. Hi, Dad, how are you? Are you okay? Must I make you a cup of coffee? Mfundi was like, what is this child? God, I don't mind. I mean, I can see your, your lady in the kitchen there. She's not doing anything for you. I'm coming back. Coffee tea? I will coffee. Give me the schedule. In case, how do you sit down? I'm sitting. Are you sure you can add more lines? <laughs> and he's like, What? More lines for who? This story is already written and completed. Where do you fit in with more lines? Gary, you can write me in. You are the boss. You are the boss of the show. Nobody can tell you anything. Gary, you can make a decision that can derail everything. Gary, I'm here for it. Gary, you love it. Gary, I'm not leaving until you say yes. And I'll try something. Gary, that's not good enough. Gary, said it's a goof. Gary, you're gonna. <laughs> he was so fascinated with my personality, and he wrote me in. That story of mine with Mfundi mm. with generations really teaches me and reminds me that when you pursue something and you're serious about it, you'll get it. A lot of young people today need to understand that whatever you want, one foot in the door. Listen, it doesn't matter what the storm you're going through around yeah. you. Once you've got one foot in the door, you're in. 
No, you are. You are in. And I was in. And I wasn't going in. And I was not taking no for an answer. Sometimes I can cry about my life. But when I look at where I'm coming from, I'm like, but God, you're such an amazing guy. Because you really gave me joy. You gave me joy for what I'm after, for what I want to achieve. Mm. And you gave me the energy a lot of people yearn to have. The confidence a lot of people yearn to have. And I still got everything I wanted through my confidence, you know. I then... Obviously, along the way, while I like a reke, while I like a son, some only young, oh, not, oh, not, it all, kitty party, kitty six to six, so got Devon, Nikki Devon, July, kitty shampoo all night long until the morning. That was the life, and I lived it, and I'm still living it, but I lived it differently because I was younger and it was more exciting. And, um, obviously, then came any storm and every storm that came into my life, and that's when for me, I was like, okay. Now this faith thing must really kick in. Because now that's when you're facing the true story. I can it's fun, and so it's a demaneuvering the yes. house. But then the real life kicks in. Where you're also a mother, where you're a role model uh, for a lot of young people who also want to be superstars one day. And, and you have all this money, and you're not really sure how you are managing it. And remember, as a child of God, God will allow you to go through certain things in order to groom you to where he wants to take you. Mm. But the thing is, you don't know how long he takes as he's prepping you for where he's taking you. And I can believe that right now it's my season for where God is really taking me. But he took all these years prepping me, allowing. You know how Moses lost, not Moses, how Job lost everything. And God said to the devil, you can take everything. His wife, his children, his money, his assets, not him. Don't touch his The soul. Bible says, touch not my anointed. And it says, don't touch his soul, don't touch him. Touch a little smile, and it was return a hundredfold. <laughs> so when I lost everything, my darling, the whole country looked, lost my body, lost my energy, lost my business, lost my, listen, I lost, and everybody so was So you ready. were in your job season? Yeah. Which was when? Hmm. It's 2023? 2020 was when I was... I mean, I, I would believe from 2019, 2018, when I was struggling with diabetes, when I was struggling with depression, when I was struggling with everything, it was really when my job season kicked in, when I was losing everything, losing a whole warehouse worth of furniture, losing cars, losing things, and people just felt they could just talk about it anyhow. And I said, darling, I did not favor for these things. These hands, this brain worked for them. When you lose things that you worked hard for, it hits you differently. So here I am, I'm depressed, I'm making headlines. Everybody's looking at me saying, so pray for Sofinda. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay. There were pray. also headlines of uh, RIPs. Yeah. Oh, no, there were many. In the midst of all that. Yeah. And some people around me who are supposed to build me and say, let's fight to restore you. Some of them ran away because they're scared or they are thinking I can't be associated with a dying horse or whatever they mm. thought I was. They just forgot. I always say to people, they forgot who I am. <laughs> they forgot my foundation. Horo, listen, I'm in the midst of the storm. That's, Kore, it can all happen in whatever order. Mm. And I even told journalists, no problem, it's your job. You chose the job to be a journalist. You're writing about me. Good shot. Oh, she lost this. Oh, she lost that. Oh, now she doesn't have a car. Oh, now she doesn't have money. Hallelujah. Have a party. But it doesn't define where I'm going. It doesn't define who I am. And when I started dealing with my depression, I remember looking in the mirror and seeing Mutha Parang size 36, 38. Marahantlantle, ki weya 42 kgs. Right? Depression will make you see what's not there. What's not there. Are you are you saying you you didn't see? No. Like no. I saw I saw I saw chubby Sophie. I saw a hopola doll. Nekna little vision never question of her fake boobs, real boobs, yeah. something. Yeah. That's sure. Mm. Get trend that ah. To not to flat. Mm. Flat bum, flat chest, flat, 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 flat. But when I look, who contour the doll? Yeah. You know, and even as I was losing those assets, and. The people thought it was comical to laugh about it. I thought, but maybe this is the chance for God to show off who he is. So, so when you were in the middle of that storm, 
and you couldn't see anything beyond that what kept you going beside i i i know depression you 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 may sometimes you can think of i can figure out where i'm going but at times it's, it's not just, in and out yes it's just darkness you don't know what's coming or whether you are coming or going mm. but what kept you to say I don't want to kill myself. The promise of God, and mm. it never even crossed my mind. Kill myself never crossed my mind. Mm. Ever. Not under God's watch. So because of my foundation, we go back. You know, um, I knew all I needed to do was to re-seek my God. Apologize for stepping aside. Because I get a ring ring Lost ship. Come back home. And I said, God, if you restored me, I promise you, I will tell everybody the goodness that you did mm. for my life. Because you see, a lot of people are such lost souls. The first thing they do is laugh, is think, mm. oh no, you know, she lost this, she lo- I lost a lot. I lost my mind, I lost my energy, I lost a lot, but I knew I didn't lose myself. I lost a lot, right? I lost my assets, my finances. I was that girl if I want to go to Italy now. I didn't need a boyfriend to book me a private jet, darling. I had it, I could do it, mm. right? And I just thought, now that I don't have it, this is the time. The day I left my marriage was the day I said, this is the time where I now need to cleave to this guy that gave me the promise, which is God himself. Left my marital home. Started on zero. Zero. It's not zero. Mm-hmm. Bank account, zero. Food, nothing. You understand? Mm-hmm. In a cold house. But I had to cleave unto the promise of Christ. Because if I had cleaved unto the promise of man, remember men at some point can derail and focus on themselves. Mm. But God will never derail from you. So I knew oh, this promise is everlasting and it's more focused and it's more, more clear. And it won't work the way I want it in Google. Like if I say to my friend who's got money, write me a check. Yeah. Because we feel like, not under my watch, Chomiaka, Itla, loser, everything. But now with God, it's a process. And you have to be willing to be part of that process. It's either you're willing to be part of that process or you're not willing to be part of that process. So I said, I'm here for it. I've got nothing to lose. I'm not going anyway. I need to first heal. I've got a whole year probably of get, regaining weight from weighing 42 kgs, wearing th- age 13 to 14. And I thought, what's the worst that can happen right now? Let me now test this thing of Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. Seek me, and if you seek me with all your heart, you'll find me. And I thought, this is the seeking season. Let me seek this dude and see what happens. And when I seeked him, I get it's not man that you should lie. So, oh, Elia, Mark, what made to this dude? I seeked him. Like I always say in my interviews, I looked in the mirror and I said, God, you promised Replace flesh by flesh. I need to do this by numbers. You know, in acting, we say by numbers. Mm. Step by step so that you get to the climax of the scene. So I needed to get to the climax of my life scene. And I said, but I cannot just reach a climax one time. It's a process. So I knew I needed to do step. What is the first step? The rebuilding of my structure. The cleavage had to come back, honey. I knew. <laughs> you know, the, the skeleton body had to be replaced by flesh. But it had to be step by step. Then in the process, you're also dealing with this killer disease called diabetes that everybody mocked and thought, oh, only HIV or oh, wash. These people are so stupid. They should go test themselves before they start calling people names. Mm. People who are their neighbors, they mock them. That's why people even commit suicide because of people like them. The mockers, yes. The mockers, yeah. So I focused in my house, darling. Food or no food? Career or no career? Who was going to give me business, Kesha? Who was going to say, come do my wedding, Kesha? Mm. Is, that, is it anybody in their right mind who can do that? No, who can who? say, who, who can, you know, Mandla, Wako Lockdown, said, I have a role for you. He hit me up on Instagram. And I said, me? <laughs> do you know what I look like? I I'm sleeping in and out of my mm. depression. I'm like, yes, I know exactly what you look like and... I want you because I know you're a great performer and I know this role. I wrote it just for you. You're going to rock it. Yeah, lockdown. Mm. The one that was trending and everybody mm. thought, is she feeling the right thing or is she acting it or is she what? It trended for a while. And it was both. I was feeling it, but I felt God felt. This is the time to teach women who are going through a season like this through my child, Sophie. 
because she's believable, they will believe it. Some will believe her. Maybe that's what she's going through. Some will believe her. Right? She's a good actor. So it was your choice. Which one do you believe? But it was both. Hmm. I was an, an amazing actress. I pulled it off. I felt it from the deep core. But sometimes when the tears fell, it was real. Because I was going through a season. Hmm. Right? So I didn't need tear stick. It literally came on its own. And as a performer, you don't need tear stick if you're a real because when you're a performer, you dig deep yeah. to what's inside and it comes out. So that's when I thought, okay, somebody, you know, God will remind you that somebody will believe in you. Even when you believe you don't believe in yourself. And that was the reminder. Because God will always find ways to remind you. Mm. And when Mandla came with lockdown and he said, I want you to be part of this season, she treated me like a superstar. Didn't say, oh, lo yafa, guys, Megan la. Treated me like the diva I am. Are you getting me? Yeah, sure. And just reminded me of who I am. Kept reminding me, you're doing well. You're doing great. Why is it so difficult for people to say to people who are falling, you're doing great, so that they can rise beyond? We step on those that are falling. Yeah. That's human nature. Yes, yes. So that was the, the beginning of my healing process and a new fight. And it was step by step, step by step. I had to shut the noise. You know, I say to people, when there's a lot of noise, it's human nature to want to cry. But you need to also learn to shut the noise. Hmm. Do you remember the moment when you said, you know what, I am going to get out of here? Because you, you, you're saying that you, you, you ask God that you need to be restored, flesh by flesh. Do you remember what, what pushed you to say, that's it, I need, I need to do this for me, not for anyone else? Yeah, I remember that step by step was hmm. what pushed me. And then, of course... Um, as I was making those decisions to walk out of my marriage, there are two ladies who I used to help a lot okay. when I was that multimillionaire woman in their business from time to time. They oh. called me and they said, oh, we've got a good job for you. I was still at that 42 kg level. And then I said, I don't think I'm strong enough. But no, 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 you are. Yeah. And that time... I'm still in and out of my depression because I see that I'm small, but I don't see that I'm small. So it's those moments. You are we'll send the yes. driver to fetch you. They send the driver to fetch me. And I get into the office, and the first thing they offered me was medical aid. Full medical aid, not hospital plan. Mm -hmm. Full. The second thing they did was give me a new phone. The third thing they did was give me a new Apple uh, computer. The first thing they did was give me a macro card and say, go buy whatever you want. And I asked, why are you doing this? They said, because of what you did for us. We'll never forget you. And these ladies said, whatever we, you need, we are here for you. Ladies? Yeah, two ladies. So you were brought back by two other women. They brought you back. They brought me back. Or maybe... Martha and Cabello, yeah. they brought me back. Gave you the strength to... They would ask me, what are you praying for? We are going to pray with you. Hmm. These are praying women. At 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, consistency up till today. So if you share when you have, God will remember you. These people didn't remember me. God remembered me and whispered in their ears. Yes. La rapela kere every day, phone lang Sophie. Then came another friend of mine. Her name is Sophie. And she said to me, show me, uh, do you have medical aid? Kere, no, this is COVID. Okay, so you need a psychologist. Who said I need a psychologist? I say so. Psychologist is not a Okay, I just need you to talk to someone. Who's not us? Who's not us? Because yeah. as you can see, the media is judging you, people are judging you. This is somebody who won't judge you. And it's, it has made an oath of confidentiality. Yeah. So, yeah, was no one called Kalukutika. Shap, shap. We're not going to be normal. We are going to just think of ourselves. So speak to somebody who doesn't know anything. Hmm. Went to that guy. The first time I went there, I cried through the whole one hour. Money gone. Chele da sofu about to go. How about it next? How can I call a sentence? The tears. I'll take your time. That's how I'm a hoddle. 
ما صرت بطل كله ما كيف هالاند اب يو نو ارو نيكست سيشن ار جوان تو رايت كريز كي رايت ار اوكي ريد وات يو فريتن شي ذا فوت مزال يا كالا فوت سو ذا ثيرابي سيشن از نوت جوينج اني واي اي ديد ذات فور ا لونج تايم انتل اي ديسايد ار نوت جوينج ذير كان ام جوين تو جو اون ماي نيز اند ستارت توكينج تو ماي جاد يو نو بات اي ثينك ذات انتاير سيزون ريلي 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 تاوت مي ا لوت um about restoration and about the process of becoming restored because it took me another two years to start dealing with the debts to start dealing with you know when they say but you owe this but you were in depression for two years you don't even know how those debts came about and mm. all the debtors are r- knocking on your door you owe me for this how long will i list you know there was a guy don't you think you should just kind of be saying that thing Uh, say that you are out and leave some gas home bankrupt bankruptcy yeah, yeah, file for bankruptcy god not under my watch i'm not filing for bankruptcy but but at la what like everybody every data you can think of was on my back and i was like i'm here for it how about but la guy get 500 you know because here's somebody asking for a million mm-hmm. and i'm like but i don't have a million now I'll give you 500 bucks. And as women, in order for us to evolve from our pain, from our suffering, from our history, you need to be bold enough to be honest with your situation at that time. Amen, A lot of people are too scared hore. O tlo reng le rato, o tlo reng Debra, o tlo reng Nola, o tlo reng Sophie, ha e ba neng ke tlo bua nne tsetsaka. So, for me, I knew that this fight is so different and God is showing up and showing off. So I had to focus even though I'm getting all these amazing mm-hmm. offers. I needed I remember these ladies that I was working with. I walked away and I said, "Let me go start alone again. Your support is amazing, but in order for me to prove to another woman or you can, I need to go into my storm head on mm-hmm. again and face everything that I can and can't afford." they've taken over the wedding industry and that's a friend asking you that get it but it's their time and their turn hmm. I had my time and my time nobody disturbed me nobody benchmarked me against anybody nobody compared me to anybody yeah. and I had the time of my life globally this is not the season for that I'm fighting a bigger fight than being a wedding planner or being an event planner or being an actress hmm. this fight is bigger and when god restores me he's going to give me the power nobody possesses because i ruled the industry at some point hmm. yeah eventing and the concept god has given me now if i do eventing now it's probably because i love it and i do it but that's not where god is taking me let me tell you a secret where is it there is bigger things that is taking me to hmm. you see for god allowing me to have diabetes it does not because of diabetes He was preparing me for what he wants me to do with diabetes. Okay. Educating people. Teaching women to fight their in your fight. There's a program called She's a Wonder that I that I started. God gave me that idea 10 years She's ago. She's there. She's a wonder. She's the one. She okay. is a, a wonder. wonder, meaning you're a wonder. Why are you a wonder? Everything that you went through, you still came out strong. You're a wonder. So She's, She's a, wonder a Wonder is a, one, a movement that we've launched and next year reza kasi sothi ba ring murivit. Hmm. of women who've been broken saying i am now coming back and when i come back hey i'm coming back as a new wonder hmm. and hmm. i am a wonder because i've overcome all the challenges i've been through okay 